Dan the Wild Man here. I'm here with my favorite danger noodle, little baby ball python named Mac and Cheese. He's a fan favorite at Sharkarosa. He was on exhibit there for uh, during spring break as a little substitute for us. But he's hanging out with me now here uh, in my personal reptile room. And today we're going to be talking about this. I wanted to talk to you little guys a little bit about target training. So target training is something we do with our big cats out at Sharkarosa uh, just for their personal veterinary care. We have a total of three big cats at Sharkarosa, our twin white lionesses, Zuri and Kali. And then we have our eight-year-old Bengal tiger, Mino. So this is going to be our target stick and clicker. This is going to be the tools of the trade basically when we're target training. You can see my fellow zookeeper Isenia using these tools uh, to show our cats how to target. So right now she's getting Zuri and Kali to do a basic target, which is basically she's going to put the target where she needs it, uh, the line to go. And once they successfully target, they will hear that clicker. And that clicker is going to be the universal language between us and the big cat. They know that clicker means they did a good job and we'll click it every time they do a good target. We always start off each training session with the girls just because they are a little bit younger and still learning, whereas Mino is a lot older and he's also much better at it. This training is always going to be on a voluntary basis with the animals. So it's going to be their choice to participate in the training and uh, get those rewards and treats right now like you see one of our lions doing. Now these treats are not going to be part of their diet. These are going to be treats. They will get the rest of their lunch later. These girls are going to eat about 14 pounds of meat a day together. Mino is going to eat about 10 to 12. So this training is what we're going to call protected contact. There's always going to be a barrier between the zookeeper and the lions. Right here you can see that Kali has done a successful down. And so we do different movements with these big cats to do veterinary checkups on them. So right now the lines can go up, they can go down, and this is to check their joints. And also when they go up, we can check their underside of their body, make sure everything is good there. All right, up next we do have Mino. It is his turn. He's been waiting patiently. He's super excited to train. Uh, he's usually pretty enthusiastic about it. As you can see, he is a beautiful white tiger. Now he's not albino. He is just leucistic. So this means he's not lacking all his skin pigmentation, only some. That's going to give him his white fur, but also maintain his black stripes and give him these beautiful blue eyes. Mino is going to be considerably larger. He's going to be about 600 pounds, uh, where the girls are in the 350 range. So one thing we do have to be wary of every time we do target train is the fact that we do not want to let Mino train us instead of the other way around. So we don't want to reward Mino for doing the wrong movement or trying to do something easier to get out of more work. Uh, instead, if he wants to do a different move, um, we'll just give him a break for a minute, right? So we'll give him a break, give him a second to reboot kind of, and then we'll go back to the training. Uh, and so this teaches him that he has to do the movements that are provided in order to get those treats instead of saying, oh, I'll just do something easier. I will admit starting out, I did do this, but uh, luckily I had a great teacher who came in and uh, taught us uh, how to correctly target train Mano for his health and benefit. So at the end of the day, we do this target training for our, our cats so that way we can administer health care and checkups without having to sedate the animal. That can be very dangerous for a big cat and something we do not want to do. Uh, we want to avoid it at all costs. And so with this target training, zookeepers are able to do blood draws, checkups, administer medication, all without uh, sedating the big cat. So we're about to get a good look at Mino's beautiful enclosure. So our big cat's enclosure, they get full-time access to their yard, their room, their indoor shelter at all times. Mino taking a bath here, looking oh so cute and beautiful. Uh, tigers are going to love the water, where lions are not necessarily going to love the water. Okay, and here is our big cats, uh, the rest of their lunch that I was talking about. Uh, and Mino's finally getting to enjoy his meal for the day. Like I said, Mino's going to get about 10 to 12 pounds of meat a day. The girls are going to get about 14 together. They are going to enjoy great cuts of meat. Uh, 
better meat than a lot of us are eating. So we get awesome donations from restaurants and grocery stores around our area. And it keeps our big cats good, well, and fed. So I hope this gave you great insight on a little more of what zookeepers do and why we target train our cats uh, for their health and benefit. Uh, and if you want to see these guys in action, just stop by Sharkarosa. You'll get to see these training sessions live. Uh, so thank you for joining us. Thank you for uh, enjoying these big cats with me. And I uh, hope you learned a thing or two. And that's target training. So target training is something that's going to enrich these guys. It's going to give them something to do, something to work their minds a little bit and a little bit of a treat. Um, so I hope y'all learned something today about how we care for our big cats. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me on Dan the Wild Man today uh, for our first episode. There's going to be many more to come. So please stay tuned. Subscribe and like if you liked all the info you heard today. Comment anything. Um, and be sure to go to Sharkarosa Wildlife Ranch and check out these big cats in action yourself. Uh, come see me and all the other zookeepers. Uh, and you might learn a thing or two and have some fun. Um, but yes, yeah, so continue to stay tuned to Dan the Wild Man for different videos. So I'm gonna be doing exotic videos like this with our big cats that are really exciting. And then I'm also gonna be doing care videos on reptiles, my personal reptiles included. I'm gonna be going to other facilities, uh, all sorts of things. If you're into animals, you're into this channel, you wanna check it out, subscribe, please, it would be so helpful. Also, please check out uh, my TikTok that I just made. You're gonna have lots of fun content on there about all the animals I interact with throughout the day. Um, and also, please, please uh, check out my Instagram. Both of those will be linked below. I'll go ahead and put them on the screen. But thank you so much for joining me today. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you soon.